Among the sticky issues raised by MPs was the question of salary discrepancies amongst the enrollment officers who are assigned with the registration of students in schools. This emerged from a recent inspection by lawmakers which revealed that the enrolled officers were being paid starkly different allowances. People are paid according to the days they have worked. That is not true, Madam Chair. People were also wondering. People and the workers were wondering. One girl challenged us. She said, me, I have worked for two months. I was given 70000 She has just reported two weeks back. She was given 450000 It was not according. It is not true that they are being paid according to the days they have worked. We are cognizant of this. We are sorry that this had to happen and we are looking at resolving all of these issues with the next payment. The method of payment also raised concern. MPs questioned why the authority relied on the mobile money system to pay the workers instead of using their bank accounts. And how are we going to account for this money that goes on this mode of payment, mobile money? Because some of them are saying we are, we are getting 300, others are saying I have just received 100, these ones are saying I have received... 70,000. We have banks all over this country. This, this Katemba you are seeing, somebody saying, now we shall use mobile money, no, no, if the bank accounts are on now, we use mobile money. Madam Chair, the entire process is tainted with an illegality. Now, By the time of payment, only about 10% of the enrollment officers had provided bank accounts. And so we're running out of time and it became difficult um, to make payments. We were advised by Treasury that there is something called an e-payment platform and that we could utilize it instead. And so then they were asked to provide their mobile numbers. Allegations persist that the data of the first recruitment exercise in 2014 was messed up. The database which you used to share with the Electoral Commission got lost. So I wanted to know from your mouth, is it true that that database got lost or it is just some kind of a rumor. But thank you very much for raising it. I take serious note of it. It is in our interest as a country that the data held of you and me in that place must be secure. The officials from both NIRA and the Ministry of Internal Affairs, however, reveal that they continue to face challenges in the registration exercise of students. The major challenges are already presented is the issue of the malfunctioning of the kits. As I said, we had anticipated that there were about 24,000 schools. That was the figure which we received. But in the process, we actually found that there were 28,581 schools. You were supposed to end this exercise by the 31st of August. Are you going, are you going to conclude it by 31st? The target of August 31st may be uh, a little onerous now with the facts on the ground to actually achieve. The team from NERA is expected to return to the House Committee next week to account for the 25.2 billion shillings vote, which was allocated for the entire learners' registration exercise.